Dude, if I smoked weed, this would be like the best like bong ring. <laughs> <laughs> for like four months trying to just like do all the projects as fast as possible but everything ends up taking a lot longer than expected. I don't even know what this was for. It was like for getting getting up and landing the 50 and then I won the best trick after but they gave me this before that too. I don't know. Dude this thing is sick. I want to get this working. It doesn't work but I got it at the flea market. It's like an old 50s stereo system with a turntable. Get it working eventually. Once Davis Torgerson can make me this uh, record shelf, I'll have it on the display, but they're all in boxes. Here, here, and then everything on the ground over there is just all. This one's sick. That's cool. Luke from Spitfire got me this. this oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Uh, I picked most of my songs. Actually, I probably picked all of them. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of one I didn't pick. Uh, Minor kind of picked that unwound song, but like I was down. Like I've I've never like had someone just give something and be like I have no idea what this is, but it sounds cool. Or like yeah, you know I don't know. I like to be involved in that stuff if I'm gonna like skate for a year and want it to like look good and sound like what I want it to sound like and stuff. That's a really good record. This song's pretty fucking hot right now. That Kate Bush song. <laughs> oh, this one was sick. This is the original I found. This thing's worth a lot of money, but it's kind of in shitty condition, but I was just stoked to find it for 10 bucks. That's the doorbell. Like someone rang the doorbell one time and the thing just like flew off the wall because it, like, it vibrated so much that it just like flew off. If you're five foot seven, you can stand perfectly. <laughs> There it is, you can hold it. <laughs> it is heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's got Cody Green on it. Who do you think's got it this year? Who's gonna win Skater of the Year? Yeah. Louis Lopez, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let's look at the backyard actually. Because the house is tiny, the backyard looks huge. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, mandarin, lemon, fig, apple. What's the season? What's the season? Say the figs are the most in season. Yeah. Uh, mandarins are really good right now too. Look at. Let me pluck one of these. Pluck, guys. pluck a mandarin. <laughs> it's trippy because it's been a while since I've like put out something. Yeah. But I've been like putting out things like it's like the Sodi trip or like a Huff trip or like something else. Like it feels like I've been doing stuff, but then I look at it and I'm like, oh, I haven't put out a part in like, almost two years. Probably have like eight or nine minutes of clips. Something like that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Ryan will put out a part, and then Huff video, and that'll be like the whole team. Yeah. And I'll have a part in that as well. Smolinski's like such a good editor. The yeah. video's gonna be good, like no matter what. Is it really a day in the life if you don't set up a board? People used to comment on that so much, like, yeah, Dickies and Blazers and whatever. I'm just a creature of habit. I don't know. I was like, if it works, it works. Got kind of bored of looking at myself doing the same thing. So it was like, Look at a clip from five years ago and a clip from a year ago. You wouldn't be able to tell what year it was from, yeah. which is like kind of freaky. I feel like you need to like evolve as a person. And I'm talking about wearing shoes, like <laughs> then I got on Huff and I was like, oh, I like these pants. And then I was like, oh, dunks don't hurt my feet very much. Like these are kind of cool. You gotta like change it up every now and then. When you're filming a project, it looks kind of crazy. You don't want to look like you're having an identity crisis. Yeah, like you're not sure. gonna be the blue hair guy the black hair guy, like the shaved head, like all in one part, like it kind of looks a little weird. Yeah. Cairo hit me up like every two weeks asking if I want grip. I'm like, dude, oh, you sent sick. me 40 sheets last time. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> this How many boards do you think? This How many boards have you gone through, Mason? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but it fucking sucks. <laughs> How many boards have you broken, Cairo? I don't know, but it fucking oh, sucks. Yeah, it's funny, like whoever built this like kind of knows what they're doing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. And like, it's all bondoed. I think the only thing is that the top is like a little crunchy, but it's not bad. Switch front crook is crazy. What did you do, Mason? Did you nose grind it? I did 180 switch oh. crook to regular. I want to do something like on, like another thing on it, but I don't really know what to do. I don't know what's left. I don't know if you can tell, but the top is also only this wide. Yeah. So it makes it really oh. scary. It's not flush. I've always, always been a skate nerd. Yeah. <laughs> always. Yeah. No, I, uh, I mean, yeah, since I was like 15 or something. But yeah. yeah, I definitely like nerd out on skate tricks a lot. Like, spot tourism is very fun to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you skate for a living and like try and cool guy it and think that it's lame, that's pretty fucking lame. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah know. Just like, just love what you do. You're able to do it. Yeah. yeah. Moving to Frog? Yeah. yeah. Just got to Frogtown Park. We're maybe a mile from my house. I pretty much live on the LA River, so, and this park is on the LA River, so it's like straight there. I guess it is a manual day. Right? Manual day, yeah. I guess it's on Oh yeah. There we go. Should have piggy hard. <laughs> Holy shit, I don't know how long we got here. It's pretty terrible. I would say that we should go to Palmer or something. We should go to Palmer, right? Let's, yeah, we'll, we'll bike back and go to Palmer. This is hell. <laughs> is there anyone even there? Nope. No, everyone is smarter than us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> I just saw a Wi Fi pop up on my phone called Lords of Frogtown. <laughs> <laughs> Should we look at that Jake thing real quick? Yeah, let's I want to see that. Yeah, I do too. Two skate tourism things in this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is like such a random one too. Yeah, right. Like in the video, you'd be like, yeah, I just want to check it, see if I can kick flip it. Yeah, yeah. I seen this kid, Jake this Anderson. Kid, yeah. uh, I don't know, some skate metal am. Like up here, I'm like, yeah, it's not that far. But then like, you look at like rolling up to it and trying one. I know. It's like, so far. I can't imagine like. Oh, that's gnarly. <laughs> feels like a totally different day. I right know. Here. This feels so much better. I don't feel like dying right now. <laughs> he hasn't skated in like a month or something. We used to skate together like two times a week, right? Yeah. I got a lot less. Yeah, we've just been busy <laughs> yeah. in the last couple months with the house, but. I love Venice Park Bulls. Yeah. And there's like no bowls over here. Oh uh, yeah. The first year we've been together, yeah, we went yeah. to Element Skate Camp together. Sick. And Ginger was just bored and she just dropped in on like the little mini ramp was probably like yeah, it was two feet. Yeah, was so tight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then been skating since. It's cool to be able to skate together. Hey, when we skate together in Venice, you would more like hang out and watch, not really skate. Venice skate is a together. shit show. Yeah, <laughs> it was like the worst place to skate yeah. ever. <laughs> I don't know. I used to like go on trips and the first day just like completely blow everything out just because like I get too excited and I need to just like slow down and like think about stuff a little bit more now. For sure. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 25. Okay. So, I mean, I'm like, I'm young. Damn. 30 will come quick, you know? sure, yeah. like it's not like you can just like do the shit that I was doing in 2020 like all day every day, like yeah. you gotta like kind of like pace it a little bit now. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> do you have like more like goals? Goals? That is a good question. Yeah. Winning Skater of the Year was up here, yeah. you know, like I don't know where you really go from Yeah, there. exactly. So. And it wasn't even like a, an insane goal of mine, it kind of just like happened as that year was going on. And then 
it was like amazing that it happened. But yeah, now I think my goal is to just like really like take time and do the tricks and like the skate to the songs I want to skate to. Like just like make sure that like I'm doing everything I like truly want to do. And, like I just respect like people that like really put the time and effort in to like make sure that their skating like looked amazing and like they picked the right spots and I have like just like smaller goals now just like little like tricks that I think of and then mm -hmm. it's like I don't know it's like simpler now. Mm -hmm.